I thought I'd uh, give a little talk today on um, the differences in Onondaga Chert. Um, it can vary greatly, and I'm going to show you exactly today uh, what I mean by that. Now, if you've got a piece of Onondaga that's really what I'd consider high grade, this would kind of fit the bill right here. You can see that's real glossy, dark, and um, mostly good chert. Now, sometimes you're going to get a piece that's got a lot of a nice chert, but yet there's a lot of limestone in it, which makes it a whole lot tougher to nap. As you can see, this point here. Well, I napped one last night, and this thing has got to be almost all limestone with very little chert in it, but yet it's on Indaga chert. This is a, kind of a classic example of what a Genesee point might look like around my area. But look at this, I mean, the only spot that I can identify positively as chert are the little dark spots and the rest is all pure limestone. So because of that I wanted to show you the, what the vinegar treatment does. This is a piece of flake that came off that point right there as I was napping it along with these flakes here. And you notice they look a lot darker. We're going to do a little experiment. I'm going to put these flakes in some regular white vinegar. And we'll take a look at them after a little while to see what kind of transformation took place. So there you go. Now they're all in the vinegar. And it's just, uh, it don't take that long. But this can be a piece right here that would typically have a lot of limestone. You can see it in there. Uh, you look on the back side, eh, it's some glossy, nice material in here. So you might have to work to get that out of there because can tell you this much that this stuff is pure limestone and tougher than nails. Really tough. Here's a spall that I took off when I was getting ready to nap a point last night and you can see this outside is pretty dry looking and this is what Mother Nature did to it um, where I'm doing it with vinegar accelerating the time that it would take. See there's some nice dark material but yet when uh, the environment acts on it, it turns it very gray if there's limestone in it. And I can see this this one's jam-packed full of limestone. Nice spall. Actually, it'll make a nice point uh, if I can uh, work my way through it and not get stuck on hinges and dead ends, you know, with this limestone. So, anyway, we'll let this uh, sit there for a while. And I don't know if you can see it. If you look closely, you can see there's a little bit of bubbling action going on, fizzing. That is the vinegar working on the limestone in this chert. And I can see already that it's starting to really um, transform it. So we'll leave that in there for about an hour. See the bubbles coming up? And uh, we'll take a look at it after an hour in vinegar and see what kind of transformation is uh, made with it. So I'll be back. Okay, it's been a little over an hour, and uh, I pulled the uh, flakes out of the vinegar and check this out. Look, look at these, how they've changed. Remember, they started out kind of dark like this, and now, after about an hour in the vinegar, look at the, look at the difference. It's incredible. All these flakes show how much limestone there is in there. It's kind of pretty actually, but yep, that's what Mother Nature would do if the flake laid on the ground and the leaves dissolved and the tannic acids and all that formed and um, these flakes laid in that, they would turn just the same um, light color because uh, the acid would work on the, on the limestone that's in the, in the chert. Look at how, what a difference. So, I hope that helped you to understand. Now, not all flints are the same. Um, Onondaga is pretty much um, unique. I know others might do this. They have a lot of limestone. But um, this is one thing I wanted to show you that um, vinegar, something as simple as vinegar, can actually change the appearance of, of these pieces and uh, make them look a whole lot older, I guess. Uh, it just accelerates what Mother Nature would do in the ground. So thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this little clip on uh, the effects of vinegar 
and Onondaga Church and how it ages it thousands of years in just an hour.